Piers Morgan yet again gets another A-lister from the Indeed world of football. He does. In walks Zlatan Ibrahimovic, and amongst other things, Zlatan was talking about Pep Guardiola and maybe proved that Pep doesn't have the Midas touch with everyone. It was not about me performing anymore. It was, I think, my opinion. He felt offended for me saying to him, mm. I needed more space in the way I wanted to, to play. It's punishing. Which is okay. Yeah. Which is okay. He's the coach, bad results. He leaves, player stays. And I respect that. But be open to me. Mm. Be direct to me so we understand each other. Fourth game bench and then I started to make noise because it's not okay for me anymore. Now I'm on the bench and I have on the, I'm on the bench because of a situation I created not by my own choice mm. because of the people above him because for them I was a big investment. And the fourth game I bring my Ferrari and I bring the Enzo Ferrari and I knew it would create another situation. So I parked the car in front of his office. So you with me, I with you. That was my motto. You parked it in front of his office? In front of his office. <laughs> I said, this is, you want to play with fire? I will bring you fire, but I will burn you. But obviously he's the coach because what punish most the players, player if he doesn't play, mm. because obviously you want to play, but the boss is the coach. But in that moment, I understood this will not be okay because there is How something... How did he re react to you parking your Ferrari outside? He would not say nothing to me because he would avoid me. <laughs> you want to bring me fire and I'll give you fire. You're not having that? No, no, no. I, mean, I, I, mean, think, he was, I think he was a great player, but I think sometimes he's got tickets on himself just a little bit too much. You've got the greatest coach in world football. Unfortunately for him, his argument is superseded by the fact that Guardiola has gone on to achieve the most remarkable things. He's done remarkably well in his career as well. His record is phenomenal. But I think he's one of those that's just got too much of an opinion on himself. And I listened to that interview, I listened to those clips, and I just think to myself, oh, shut up, who cares about... Who, well, can't you just say you parked your car outside his office? But who cares where he parked his Ferrari? That wouldn't be Zlatan, would it? Well, yeah, but it doesn't mean I, I, that doesn't mean you have to admire that. I admire the player, which I did, and I do, albeit he's not playing anymore. The personality, I, I do like showmen. I do like people that are characters... I do like people, you know, there's an old expression and I think I fell foul of it myself in my early life, which is money talks and wealth whispers. And he runs around making a lot of noise about what he thinks he's entitled to and what, how, this, that and the other. Now, it might be that I'm missing the irony. It might be that there's an element of self-parody in what he says. But I, 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 I feel with Ibrahimovic that it's just a little bit too much. I would have had to ask... Well, what does that mean then? Bring the fire and I will bring the fire. What does that mean then? You mean you can't do as you're told? You mean that when someone in authority that you don't quite agree with tells you to do something and someone that has gone on to proven and probably was at the time a very good coach, are you a difficult player to manage? Would it you have clashed me? with somebody like him? Could you have managed an eagle like well, that? Well, I wouldn't have managed him, would I? Because I'm not a manager. Um, would I have... No, I'd in business. Um, I, well, I think that only in the, in the world of sport... Would a character like that say some of the silly things that he says? And he has said, be under no illusion, he has said some silly things during his time. It's of some people in business. He has, you, you know that. But he has said them. some controversial things, and there's been some allegations, some some observations about some of the things that he said on the pitch to players um, of all persuasions that are not particularly admirable. I think there's sometimes. With, with Zlatan, his football should do a little bit more talking. It also shows that uh, Pep might not be perfect. That he had his problems with somebody like Zlatan and Zlatan is airing that. That I was a problem to him. Well, yeah, but I, I think problem, it'll be interesting in all seriousness if there is a, a an acknowledgement that that problem could be a two-way transaction. Because we are all, we all make mistakes. I made lots and lots of mistakes in my interactions with people. I am I would have been aware enough to be able to pretty quickly address my side of the issue. Yeah. I'm not sure that Zlatan Ibrahimovic is one of those that doesn't think that everything he does... I imagine if he goes to the bathroom, it smells of roses. Yeah. Right? Everything he does is wonderful, and everything anyone else does that is actually vaguely uh, compromising what he thinks he should get as an outcome. I hope that interview shows that side, that he goes, well, you know, with... with, with Unless Guardiola was totally unreasonable, and this long list of players, as long as your arm trailing all the way down from here to Barcelona, mm. of players that haven't liked playing... For Guardiola come forward. Well, Zlatan thought say, he should be an automatic starter, and he wasn't, and that's what annoyed him. 
But there's a difference between what a player thinks and what a manager thinks. Oh, true. Oh, true. I wish for him, I wish for Zlatan Ibrahimovic a role in management and he gets to manage a Zlatan Ibrahimovic yeah. sort of person. Can you imagine it? And you then really we'll managed. see. But it, it's Were a good... you as low-key as him? Did you have a Ferrari? I had three Ferraris. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't need to tell people. You asked me a question, I didn't volunteer it. He volunteered that. I parked my car mm. outside the manager's office. No, we had to know that was a Ferrari Enzo. Right. So we had to be aware of the fact that was a million-dollar car, yeah. or whatever they are now, and we I parked it outside. Yeah. Well, who cares what car you drive? Yes. Really? Necessary, is it? Have a bit of class. This is true. Nothing wrong with Skoda. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.